Hey guys! Okay, so we are on our way. I promised you an Easter vlog, so I'm going to make one and I'm probably going to be gathering everything up into one uh, for all the day. So yeah, happy see you with these cool glasses. Yeah, and John and baby girl is right there, but she's sleeping. So yeah, so we are on the road and there's my daddy, there's my sister and our family and let's see if I can show you guys. There's my mom and I'm sorry for the dirty windows, it's a car. So yeah, so we are on our way and the weather is actually nice. It was supposed to be a storm but check it out. It is sunny and pretty and yeah we don't have to worry about heavy winds so yeah and as well I managed to fix my eyes oh yeah you like it I do um, so yeah on our way and I'll be back and vlogging some more see ya soon hey guys okay so I never get to finish today but we are on day three and we are actually in a polygon park or an Arctic wildlife center so we're going to be doing a little guided round through the center and I'll try to film there a bit to show you guys so hang on look at this check them out look look they're so pretty see a big big male and there's a female over there, but somebody's standing there, so yeah. How cool is that? So I'll show you guys some more animals in a bit. There's a the female. Right there. Check it out. She's going to feed the lynx. I'm going to show you guys. This is so cool. Check it out, you can see it right inside there. And she's on her way in. Look. So we are now on our way up to the foxes and um, you can actually buy like a fox entrance thing where you get to go in with the keeper to the foxes which is so good and you can do that with the wolves as well but you have to be 18 years old or older so yeah 
and it, you have to have a good health going into the wolves as well. But it's so cool. Look at the foxes. No, they love puppies. Oh, that's so cute. Look, she's on a neck. Oh, Oh, the other fox ain't really kind to that one, so she has learned to jump up on her back to get food. She's so cute. Oh my God. Because the two boys down here, they always fight around. Oh, she's the only female, actually. The other she two boys. She avoids problems. So she's the only female. <laughs> they are very used to people <laughs> being in captivity with people for, so, since they were born. So cool. Look, you can really see she's actually a little bit scared of the other two. Problem. We have to call the veterinarian to get it out of the stomach. She's so pretty. You duck. This man had no spur. Come in here. I Okay, we are on our way to the wolves, and it's raining quite a bit, so my camera is a bit wet. But it's so cool. Ah. I She's feeding the wolves. Hey, it's so pretty. Oh, look. She's actually standing there throwing meat over the fence for them. Look. Oh, how gorgeous. I want one. Don't you? Oh my goodness. This has been such a perfect day. Even with the rain and snow and the wind, I don't care. This was worth it. Check them out. These are actually socialized as well, so they, they can, uh, people can come in with the people. He's so pretty. We're on our way up to the bears. Yay! Daddy bears! So, and my baby girl is quite grumpy right now. Yeah. Okay, it's not the bears yet, but it's cool. Look at him. This is not the bears, this is. Oh, I don't know what that means. Hey, Buster. So that's Wolverine. Uh, his name is Arne. And, uh, this is actually, actually the Wolverine. He doesn't look anything like Hugh Jackman. So my expectation was that when we are now up by the bears. Look at her. She's crying for food. And it's a baby. She was just crying out to them and they are responding to her call, which is so awesome. And now she's going to feed the bears. How cool is that? A big, big busky bear. <laughs> Look, it's mommy and the baby. Look, she's shadow fighting. Oh, it's actually sisters. 
Is that the baby? Is that the baby at all? But she's at her and her sister. It's the male. And the other one's his sister. He's so cool. And that's the wolf as well. They're actually in the same enclosure. Cool. You could see the bear was just chasing the wolf away from the food. <laughs> cool. We are going to have a look for the mommy and the baby bear now. This is the big male. His name is Troops. And I think we saw, saw the mommy and the baby. We have our big male bear. Look at him, he's so cool. Look, there's a mommy. And she's a mommy with a little baby. Oh, oh. oh. There he is. So tiny. Oh. And uh, this happened when the mother is laying on the, the back. The baby go on top of the stomach. And the sound will come from oh, the backup is, uh, is oh very uh, satisfying for you. Here that he's very satisfied. Oh, like so this is uh, something I can really oh, recommend. It's a big butt. Yeah. I love big butt. Yeah, send them all no, the they don't. Yeah. Look at him. Oh my goodness, this was so amazing. Oh, um, the guiding or guided tour is actually done now, but we're going to walk down and see um, if we can find like the moose and stuff so yeah and there's supposed to be an otter here named Otto but I'm not sure where he is um, so yeah look at this dude look he's following us how cute these are the lynx. Look at him. And here are the moose. Um, so yeah, this is actually the last animals because we are on our way down because we are basically soaking wet. So yeah, um, but it's so cool. They are actually lying down sleeping or something like that. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Okay, so that was day three. I'm actually not going to be doing anything more later because it's so hard getting away from everybody else. So, gonna see if I can get some filming done on day four. Doo -doo. Hey guys, okay, so it's day four and we are now on our way out. We're just going to have a little stroll because neither of us have skis and all the other ones have gone skiing. So yeah, so we are just going to have a little walk and look at the facilities. So yeah, and I'm in my, uh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. Super underwear we call it here yeah it's like longs and uh, it's warm yeah so we are going to head out and basically yeah I don't know I might film a little bit of the scenery at least for you guys so because I haven't gotten to film much else but I thought I would show you guys the cabin before I left hang on 
this is like this sauna area um, it's basically outdoor chairs and such there because in here there is the sauna and then we have the bathroom with the shower toilet yeah and there is the bar cabinet and these chairs are really cool because look yeah how cool is that and then we have the outdoor area which is really really awesome it's like this and then up here that thingy right there that's the jacuzzi or it's basically heated water um, so yeah and it's like table and chairs and everything and it goes over here this is the porch entrance and then the other entrance is on the other side let's just walk back in and then there's the living room with the telly and a big screen and a fireplace and a kitchen table there's room for at least 13 people along this table we are 12 here is the kitchen with the fridge and look there's like this ice um, cube making thingy yeah I like that so yeah and then this hubby and my babies and this is the entrance washing room with a lot of clutter right now and then here is the second bathroom it's just a little bathroom and yeah and there are four there are five bedrooms but i'm not going to show you those because people live in them so yeah but it's a really pretty cabin and it's like everything's wood so yeah okay off we go okay so i wanted to just basically show you guys an outfit of the day really quickly so yeah i'm wearing my self knitted marius sweater and then i have a pair of tights i actually have super underwear underneath and my white boots and this is why i'm not wearing my jumpsuit my ski suit because it's so warm so yeah so as i said oh i'm going to show you guys a little bit of the scenery around here so let's just start up here hang on thing here it's the skiing area and then this is um like um coffee shop and stuff and this is where we are walking so yeah i'll show you before here you can see a lot of the skiing there's one and up there is one and basically all around here is people skiing um there's some cabins there there's some houses there with apartments and we are walking this way and i'm going to show you guys because there's a lot of basically apartment houses um, around here and cabins oh. so yeah you can see all the apartment houses there's a lot of them you can see two more apartment houses and actually caravans parked um because you can park the caravan here as well and up here you can see two basically i think these are two cabins with two apartment parts in them you can see they are look divided maybe even four but they are huge and now we are getting to basically a bridge um, and underneath it people ski so I'm going to show you guys that because it's quite cool a little bit frightening but quite cool um, basically you're walking on a lot of snow to see here so look look at the side 
you can see the wood here and there's actually people skiing there you can see the wood right here and we are walking up here see this and this is where people ski and there's John being a pain no it's not, he's okay and that building right there had um, basically we have like advent calendar on telly and we have something called a blonisse and rönisse and this place here contained like an amusement park for kids kinda but they shut it down and all the stuff from it is basically picked up so yeah so it's closed which is sad but you can see the amazing scenery here and right there is the road we are going down on it comes down right there in front of John so we have to walk all the way over there and then down because it's safer then to walk on the main road um, and there's happy and baby go but we are walking down here now so I'm going to show you guys when we get a little bit further down because it's quite it's pretty scenery but it's quite boring to show you this all the time and basically everything here from the top up there down to what I'm going to show you when we get down where we live it's called a mountain mountain village so it's called Morselv mountain village and you can rent cabins here um, and live in and go skiing and everything so it's really really awesome uh, I would say basically if you like skiing this is like a perfect place like I've seen um, I'm sorry if you can hear the wind but I've seen like Fleur de Force they go skiing um, a lot and uh, I think they would really enjoy it up here um, living in the cabin and skiing in this the um, area so yeah so I'll show you guys a little bit more when we get a little bit further down over here you can see this is like the um, cross-country uh, route so it, it goes from here and I think it goes around and comes back here but I'm not totally sure but it's basically we walk that way and over down quite far on our first day so it's a cross-country area so yeah okay okay so we are now arriving at the area where most of the single cabins are located whoops almost fell on my behind so yeah there are a couple of cabins over there this one there there's a lot over there and there's hubby and Basically, we got a swimming pool in the middle of the road that we have to cross. So I'm going to have a walk. <laughs> and poor hubby has to carry baby girl. <laughs> My hero. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that almost didn't go well. Yeah. Because that, that pool right there is so deep that it would basically flood the <laughs> baby girl stroller. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that had to warn my son about a car because he was in the middle of the road so there's two cabins and there's some more and basically here you can see out uh, down the whole area well not the whole area because everything goes down but we are over there somewhere you can see a red car right there and the cabin next to it is where we live so yeah we are on our way down there. Bathroom oh, and it's quite, it's quite wonderful up here. Um, yeah. You can see 
a lot of area and down there is Molsov I think but there's a lot of houses and people living there so yeah and I just have to show you guys the main road because look at these turns <laughs> this is why we don't walk on the main road if we can avoid it because um, basically you can't see I can't see if there's anything coming around that bend um, yeah so we are just walking here and then on that little light bit, um, exit there we're going to go in yeah. and the road is like this all the way down because this is a mighty steep hill so they have put um, turns and bends or turns oh it goes in zigzag or zigzag yeah zigzag is the word i'm looking for so yeah and that's basically to so that the cars won't be strained like ours were when we got here because we have a diesel without turbo so our car was struggling a little bit but you can see you can only see like a little part of the road right there so it goes into a turn yeah so now we are going this way and i'm gonna go here and film a little bit that cabin right there is where we live you can see our cars up there oh out there yeah so that's where we live okay so i'm basically going to end this easter vlog right now because i'm not going to get to film so much more uh during the rest of the day but and tomorrow we are leaving so yeah so this was our easter trip and we really enjoyed it and if anybody comes to norway during winter want to go skiing this is an amazing area um yeah so i love you guys so much and bye see you soon